We're here with Masai Maynard, a quarterback for Navy football. So, Masai, coming out of spring practice, you were third on the depth chart. Yes, sir. Um, obviously, Coach Jasper said he saw a lot of good things out of you, but obviously he needs to see more. What do you feel Coach Jasper wants to see out of you? The biggest thing for me is the mental aspect of the game. So it's just getting in the film room and really seeing everything and translating that to the field. So I've, I've done, I feel like I've done a good job throughout the summer workouts, really getting in the film room and getting that so I can execute it when I get out there. What, uh, in terms, uh, Coach Jasper has mentioned that you might have the best throwing arm, best touch of the bunch. Is that something that you, an advantage that you'd like to exploit? Um, yes, yes, for sure. But I feel like we all bring something good to the table. You know, everybody has their own advantages, and I feel like maybe that's mine. I just want to continue to work on that and build with other aspects that I struggle on. Talk about what you kind of offense you ran in high school in New Jersey, and then uh, St. Peter's Prep. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yep, and then. Adjusting to the triple option, it's not easy. And yeah. I, I seem to recall that for you in particular, it was yeah. a major adjustment. You were Very maybe much a so. shotgun quarterback. Yes, yeah, so I was a shotgun quarterback all throughout high school, all throughout my life. I never took a uh, under center snap before coming here. So that was a rude awakening uh, freshman year when I took the uh, under center snaps. But Coach Jasper and Coach Nehemiah, I feel like I've done a great job really molding me and building me into this triple option quarterback. And I, yeah, I just, I just want to ball when I get my chance. Do you feel like being able to have more in-person instruction, being in the room with Coach Jasper as opposed to on a Zoom call, um, in the meeting room, be able to ask questions, a bit of interaction, you think yeah. that's helping you to develop? Yes, I definitely do. I feel like in-person is the best thing for me. Um, I mean, Zoom is, th is still good because we're still getting a lot out of it, but in there's something about in-person, being able to go on the board, draw it up, that really I really um, connect with. So here's the interesting part of this situation is you're in competition with two younger guys. Yes, sir. But you, you've got to lead them. You're yes, up, sir. the upper class and among this group. Yes, so sir. You've got to be a leader and a mentor to them. Do you have any issue with, you know, helping guys that are your competition? Uh, n not at all. I feel like we, we all don't have uh, issues. We all help each other. And like I said, everybody has their own advantage. So if we all bring that to the table, then we can all help each other grow. Like every day in practice, I, I'm struggling on something. I ask Ty, Ty asks me, Xavier asks Ty. It all just works out. We bounce off each other. Right. Um, so no matter how this comes out, I mean, do you feel Navy's going to have a solid quarterback? Because last year, quarterback play was not a strength. Mm -hmm. Oh, most definitely. I feel like uh, us three are definitely ready for, for the task ahead. I feel like we're all ready. All right, thanks, Mr. Thank you. Just to add on quickly, you did? Um, what are some of your strengths, do you think, as a quarterback? Uh, I feel like some of my strengths is, is throwing the ball. I could also run. Um, so I feel like I definitely need to show that when I get my opportunity. Some things I need, I really feel like I need to work on is just executing. That's a, a thing that Coach Jasper really preaches, execute. If you execute, then you'll get on the field and you'll do good things and we'll win games. So I feel like execution is my biggest thing that I need to work on. You kind of touched on this. What's the chemistry like in the QB room? Oh, it, it's beautiful. Uh, we're uh, roommates right now and, and we're really boys. So it, it's, it's pretty cool to be really close with these guys and then come out every day and compete with them. But like the brotherhood is really close. And lastly, for a story I'm working on, just what's the intensity been like at practice? These uh, it's, it's been very high. We uh, really had a good spring ball. So we're trying to get that back and really trying to roll. So I feel like we've been doing a good job and we have to keep it up. Obviously, you started games last year. You got some game experience. How valuable was it? Uh, super valuable. Uh, there's nothing like game speed. Um, you know, practice, you can do your best you possibly can to get game reps. But at the end of the day, there's nothing like game speed, the, the, the size, uh, the physicalness, um, you know, just the speed of the game. So it was super valuable to get those reps last year and carry them over to the spring and now the fall. What was it like to be playing in the Army Navy? Um, it was a dream come true. Uh, I know I tell this story a lot, but a year ago on that day, I was watching that game from my couch, uh, not committed to any school, um, getting a bunch of text messages, oh, you look like Malcolm, you run like Malcolm. Like, and a year later, I'm, I'm playing in that game. So it was kind of crazy and just a great experience. You know, it's the best rivalry in the world. So you brought, you were the listed atop the depth chart going into spring camp. Ty made a move on you. Was that at all disappointing? Did you feel like you should have stretched out your advantage or just it is what it is? I mean, there's no excuses. Ty had a great, a great spring. Uh, he made a big leaps, um, operated the offense very, very well. Uh, I came in the spring with a couple injuries. I was about 70% the entire spring, tried to battle through it just because I know how valuable those reps are and to show the team that, you know, I'll fight through, uh, you know, whatever I'm going through for them. Uh, but now, now I'm 120%. I feel great, um, but I'm happy for Ty. I'm happy for Masai. They're both making great leaps. And at the end of the day, if you have three quarterbacks that are ready to go and lead this offense, uh, that just puts the team in the best position to win games. So obviously it's a close battle. I mean, Coach Jasper, Coach Nehemiah have told us not a lot of separation amongst the three of you. And it's going to go down to the wire. Is that something you enjoy? You like you thrive on that competition? The competition is great. Brings the best out of everybody. Um, but never get it twisted. We're brothers off the field. We're rooming together up there. We have a great time. We're brothers. We always will be. 
uh, but when we step on this field, we're competing, you know. But at the end of the day, like I said before, I trust in any one of these guys uh, to lead this team to victories this year. So obviously, when the spring was over and you have meetings with Coach Jasper, and he talks to you about what you should work on. What did he send you out for offseason? What he felt like you had to improve upon in order to take a next step quarterback-wise for yourself? Right. Well, the main thing uh, was just getting healthy. Like I said, I was banged up the entire uh, entire spring. So the main thing was just to get healthy so I can hit the summer rolling. Uh, I put on 11 pounds of muscle, um, got faster, got a lot stronger, uh, and just not necessarily throwing the football, but just calming my feet down and just gaining confidence uh, in my arm. Um, so that was, that was big this summer uh, in total. Um, and just building relationships with guys on the field, right? It's not all about how far you can throw the ball, but timing, right? Timing certain routes. Uh, so it was a great summer. I was 100% the whole summer, had no injuries. Um, I just dialed in and focused on the details. You feel like you got a pretty good grasp of the triple option offense? I feel like my grasp of the option is the best it's, it's ever been. I mean, as, as it should be. Um, but I feel 100% confidence and you know, able to go in the game, operate, uh, get, get us into the right play, uh, and help this team win ball games. All right, thanks, X. Thank you. Appreciate it, David. You mentioned uh, your roommates right now with the quarterback. Yes. What's that dynamic like? Like I said, what happens in the hall, you know, is obviously stays in the hall. No one understands what goes up in there or sees, uh, you know, the inside scoop. Uh, but we're best of friends up there. You know, we listen to music, we, we joke around, we play, you know, Xbox, PlayStation together. Uh, best of friends, because at the end of the day, yeah, we compete on the field, but this is a team. This is the ultimate team game. Uh, you can't have any controversy. There's no controversy, no, you know, nothing like that in the quarterback room, because uh, everyone looks at the quarterback room, and, you know, the whole team feeds off the quarterback room. What did so. you learn about yourself last season? That's a good question. Uh, what did I learn about myself last season? Just that I could do it. I think a lot of people doubted uh, my ability from where I came from, Long Island. You know, there's not many football players that come off the island uh, and play Division Four football. Um, you know, but I, I believed in myself. Uh, but I think just proving to people that I can play at that level um, was, was huge for me, just proving all the haters wrong. We're talking about the quarterback battle. I mean, it's uh intense competition. Kind of tell me your thoughts on going against your classmate, Masai, who's an older guy. I mean, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I think overall it's been honestly the best thing that we could have. Um, we all know that Navy football is an uh, option offense, so it's going to be a, a physical year. So we need all the quarterbacks we can have because, I mean, it's very rare that one quarterback makes it through the whole season. So just all of us uh, feeding off each other, building off each other has been really good, I would think, for all of our uh, growth and development. So tell us what exactly you did as a, during plebe season. I mean, Coach Jasper and Coach Neum might have kind of indicated you were never really, you know, you were, just fell behind and were never really in the mix. I mean, what did you do during your scout team? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, I basically just did scout team for the defense. But, um, I mean, all of high school, I ran spread. So, like, I really was just trying to help out them, try to play my part in that, like, aspect of it uh, whenever we were trying to get them ready to go against the uh, offense that ran spread. So, I mean, I really just try to make the most of it, try to at least see some sort. I mean, it was their first team defense we got to go against, so I just used that as like a point of emphasis to see what like a real defense would look like in college. So, so how did you get yourself prepared for the battle in the spring? Because you didn't want to just concede that you were behind and Xavier had the lead. And, I mean, you wanted to be able to come out and compete right away in the spring. Did you do a lot of stuff on your own just so that when spring came, you could try to close that gap? Uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah, I just I did a lot of film study. Um, that was like a big point for me because during uh, the fall, I didn't really, uh, I mean, I sat in the meetings, and I, but I just never really understood it uh, fully, like the, the schemes and all the stuff we had. So I really made it like a point of emphasis to like sit in the film room, sit on my own, um, and just watch like over and over, like second after second, just what defenses could do and what could happen so that when it like came out to real time, I could like see it easier and be able to like react. So. So how was it that you had such a good spring and were able to close the gap on Xavier? Um, I mean, he's a great competitor. I think we, I think honestly, that competition helped me um, like try to rise to the occasion. Uh, we both did this. Like, I th we think all three of us, me, Masai, and Xavier, uh, did a great job in spring. When you go back and watch the film, we all did uh, pretty good uh, competing with each other. Um, I think for me, it was I kind of just wanted to. Focus on like focus on little things that I could do each day to make myself better. Um, I knew like if the day before I did something bad, that the next day I couldn't do that because I can't keep making the same mistake over and over. It's not it's not going to help us win at all if we if I do get the chance to start. Um, so I think that just trying to make myself better each day was a big point for me. 
So, uh, I mean, if you had to describe your strengths, what you bring to the table for this team, what would it be? Um, I think I think throwing. I think I mean I've I've thrown the football all my life, so I think that's pretty uh, good like uh, strength of mine. Um, running's not like I'm not I'm not the most athletic like or like cut agility kind of guy, but like when I run, I'll try to put my shoulder down and try to get some yards. Um, and I think I, I'm getting better at it, just like being able to see what's all going on up front, what the defense is, what play, and like just like intelligence, I guess, trying to be able to know what to check and what plays are best against what defenses. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Do you feel like you have a better grasp of the offense in terms of where the ball needs to end up? I mean, it's such an intricate deal, and it's you making the calls. Am I handing off to the fullback? Am I pulling it and go down the line and maybe make a pitch? I mean, it's a lot of decision making. How do you feel you're coming along with that element? Um, I think 100%. Like, over spring, it was like a kind of baseline. We got to see it. Well, Coach Newberry's defense is awesome to go against in spring because, I mean, they give you, they throw you every defense you could possibly see, and you have to be able to react in the two seconds and know what you're going to do with the ball when that happens, when they shift and all that. So I think, and even now, I mean, we have three, four meetings a day and just being able to get in the film room and see it, what, like, live, like being able to see the stuff that we did during practice, see what we can correct and like see what is actually happening up front. It just makes it a lot easier whenever you do get to that point of like in like real speed game situation and being able to just see and react and know automatically what plays are good against what defenses and what you shouldn't run against certain defenses. All right, thanks, Todd. Thank you. Hey, Ty, just a few more quickly. Yeah. Uh, Fans don't know too much about you right now. Um, what would you say are some of your strengths that they should know about? Um, I think, I mean, I'm a big competitor. I, lo I love, I mean, I, I hate losing. That's, I mean, I think all of us here do that, do hate losing too. So um, I like, I'm pretty good at throwing the ball, I think, in my opinion. That, that's um, one of the better things I did in high school. Uh, running, I'll, get, I'll just get yards for us when we need it. I'll, I'll try to be a, a big body to get, go get gain yards forward, momentum forward. Um, decision making is getting there. Spring made some like some decisions that um, can't be made in our offense because our whole philosophy is keep the ball. If we can keep the ball, we can win. Uh, so decision making is definitely coming up, getting better. And I think just uh, like a competitor, just like that like aspiration to win and just hoping that we win. And having a typical fall camp, things are back to normal. What's that like for players? Um, I mean, this is my first fall camp. We didn't get it as a plea. Uh, so this is great. I mean. It's tiring, but it's awesome because I mean, this is like where you actually be, are able to build that like brotherhood, that bond that we're so uh, we speak so highly of here. Um, I mean, you can't you can't replicate this. It's just it's 12 hours of football or 24 hours of football, uh, seven days a week. So I mean, it's great for all of us. It's great to like get out here and compete every day and put the pads on and go scrimmage sometime soon. So.